Whitney.com. It's amazing to be in Atlantic City, particularly now that the uh, hotel is a hard rock, and particularly now that there's an amazing Wentworth Gallery here. Um, I remember a time where I would go into a gallery and think, I can't imagine filling a gallery with my art. I, it sounded impossible. Now, when we do a gallery show, we have to leave pieces out. So I'm astounded, humbled, and it's, it's thrilling for me. It really is amazing to come in and see the amount of color, but color is what my life's all about, so uh, I just go, wow. My inspiration for painting is really just life. Every day I wake up, uh, I don't want to sound corny or, or be like Yoda, but the truth is, every day that you wake up and you're looking down at the grass instead of up at it, is amazing. You know, for me, on its worst day, life's a miracle. And maybe my way of uh, capturing that is with color. People go, He's fearless with color. Well, what's there to be afraid of? I use a lot of color and some people are kind of blown away by it. The fact is I know nothing about color relationships and that probably allows me the opportunity to do things that other people don't. The best rule is no rules. And I try to approach life like that. Um, if I had listened to the people who told me what I could and couldn't do, there'd be no kiss. If I listened to the people who said what I couldn't do, I wouldn't have done Phantom of the Opera. I wouldn't have just designed Puma shoes that uh, came out about two weeks ago and sold out around the world the next day. I don't approach things with the idea of trying to second guess the public. All I'm ever concerned with is doing something that pleases me, and if I please me, I please, I please you. It's just a great time. The, the band gets along famously, and uh, it's really family. Gene and I have been together at this point uh, almost 50 years. It's a, it's a long time to tolerate each other, but uh, we're family. The End of the Road Tour starts um, after, in 2019, and that will be our final tour. Um, biggest show we've ever done, most explosive. When you go to see bands nowadays, you're seeing a KISS show. Everybody has incorporated what we do into their shows, but you can never be KISS. And at this point, we wanted to take a victory lap go around the world, thank all our fans, and also leave them with something that uh, is unforgettable. So this show is unlike anything we've done, and the people who love us will love it, and the people who've never seen us will wonder why they never came before. The criteria for how good you are is how long you last. So the jury's out on a lot of people, and I don't necessarily think a lot of them will be doing a farewell tour in 40 or 50 years. So, yeah, there's music out there that's good, um, but it's a long way to the top. I've been coming to Philadelphia since we used to play the Tower Theater. So between the Tower Theater and the Spectrum and uh, being on the side of the stage for Live Aid, I've been here a lot. Matter of fact, we were here to shoot the Mike Douglas show in the early 70s, and uh, this is a historic, amazing city. And then on top of it, it's just a great place to come. There's so many great shops and great walking areas. And the food, you know, whether you're gonna have a, a Philly cheesesteak or some of the best cannolis, there, there's certainly food here that will make you go to the gym the next day. I love America's Got Talent. It's really, uh, it's come far, far, far since shows like Star Search. With the internet, people around the world get to see what the competition is, and the game is up so much. What used to be tolerated on TV as good in a talent show wouldn't even make the first round. So the, the people that are on those shows, are some of them are really, really good. So I enjoy that. My, my favorite might be Shark Tank. I, I, can't get enough of that. I mean, we, we marathon and just watch Shark Tank. So um, I'm more more inclined towards those shows than, than dramas. Um, that, that, in a sense, is true reality TV. Shark Tank is, 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 is not uh, people making believe this is real life. Um, I always believe that you can either have reality or TV. No such thing as reality TV. If you're 
if you're living your life, then you're not on TV. And if you're on TV, you're not really living your life. So I, I tend to go for shows that are go a little bit more towards um, being informative and uh, teaching you something. And uh, the people on, on Shark Tank, for example, are so savvy, it's, it's always interesting to watch. The world is, 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 is certainly a, uh, in a state that we can all be passionate about one way or the other. So uh, that's why we vote. And we're in an amazing country where you're allowed to have a different opinion and we should never confuse that with the military. Uh, people tend to sometimes confuse the military with political views. And the one thing that's a constant is the military. And we owe everything to them and we owe everything to the military that comes home from serving on our behalf. And I am unabashedly and proudly patriotic and think that there's nothing cooler than being patriotic and, and loving your country and doing everything possible to make it the country you want and to always remember that it's the military that makes that possible. I think it's important for people to realize that your opinion is valid because it's your opinion. You don't need to justify how you feel or what you like or don't like just because uh, somebody's job depends upon telling you that your opinion is invalid. Buddy. Everybody can create their environment. Everybody has it within them. Um, when people say, oh, I can't paint, nonsense. Because you paint a Coke bottle and it doesn't look like a Coke bottle doesn't mean it's not good. Don't live by why, live by why not. Do it.